Welcome to the Coromandel Peninsula. Today we're fishing out of the Firth of Thames, out of a little spot called Waikawa. Yep, but before we do that, we're going to head up into the hills and get into our Milwaukee Challenge and Consequence. The challenge is to backflip off the cliff and land through the tube, and the consequence is to fish from a muscle boy until you catch a fish. Just 13 k's from Thames, Hoffman's Pool is a freshwater swimming hole with a sweet-ass jump rock, which is the perfect place for our Milwaukee Challenge. All right, mate. Yeah. You good at this one? Oh, mate, I'm better than the bomb off anyway. Well, you said you're going to be good at the bomb off, so. Oh, wow. We can't do bombs, so this is the uh, fair challenge, I think. Yep, backflip through the hoop. Backflip. Let's get in the drink, eh? In there. We both pretty hopeless of getting through the old, old tube, but it was a bit of fun. Yeah. So we land on my face. What? So we land on my face. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so we land on your face. <laughs> we can't have, uh, we can't have two winners. Well, you didn't win, so yeah, we've got a couple of losers right here. Loser, <laughs> loser. We're gonna have some fun fishing off the boy. Indeed, we will. Oh, should we uh, do it? Let's go dry off, eh? All right. Go for a fish. Around here, it? This week we are launching out of Waikawa. Waikawa has an all tied concrete ramp with a small fee that goes towards maintenance. Situated at the top of the Firth of Thames, it provides easy access to the thousands of mussel farms where huge schools of fish take up residence. It's not uncommon to encounter kingfish, snapper, kawai, trevally and sharks. Don't be put off by the murky water, there are a lot of fish here. With the forecast indicating showers and strong wind gusts, we made the call to head for the nearest group of sheltered mussel farms and hopefully find a harvesting barge. So, I'm on a boy. And Meg's on a boy. <laughs> When the mussel harvester comes along, it comes along and makes all sorts of racket, and the, the snapper know that it means dinner time. Smash it up like so, and throw it at me. Oh, you're getting me wet. It's not good enough, and I don't have any mussels on my boy. Oh, you got no mussels full stop. Oh. The un unwanted mussels that Scott are breaking up are just out in around the top here. Yeah, the guys don't mind you pulling off and uh, 
Pulling up or? Oh, God, don't mind what. <laughs> Pulling up. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Might be a mackerel, hopefully. <laughs> hey! Oh, Snapper on a muscle boy! <laughs> you piece of money! <laughs> <laughs> the harvesters, they uh, always have their radio cranking when they're making a noise, banging the boys, you know, doing the harvesting and whatnot. So we've got the Yui Booms from Logitech. We're going to crank these up and uh, see if we can't entice the fish to bite a bit harder with a bit of tunes cranking. Sound good, Mick? You got your boom there, mate? Yeah, mate. We're good. Got a waterproof, shockproof speaker, Bluetooth connectivity to it, and uh, crank up your favourite tunes. What do you want to do, Mick? Bit of hierarchy? Sounds good. Crank it up. Yeah. The hierarchy song. Big <laughs> <laughs> ears. Got a pin off sweatshirt. Come out on the side of the boy. Meanwhile, Scott is over here fishing with a kid's toy. I got two pieces of mullet. I got a sinker at the bottom here. It's what we call a traditional ledger rig. Oh, yeah. I'm going to drop it back down again while the music playing on. We got the UE booms cranking and Mick singing with my song. Sing it, Mick. Singing with the song is what I do when I bring the place back up. It's for you and then I'm rocking my UE boom and I'm pressing that plus ding, ding, ding. It's <laughs> got can see. Oh, yeah, Mick. Yeah. We're sitting on the muscle boys. I think it's probably about time we did something else and caught some proper fish tamurai. <laughs> tamurai. Yeah! Give it to me, Yui Boo, one time! <laughs> uh, I'm going to hook up on a two rod. <laughs> uh, I had a far from idea. Get in the boot. Get in the boot. Get in the boot. Whoa! There he goes, bit of a string puller. Could be a kahawai, or a snaps, or a kingi. Either way, makes for good fun on the boy. Oh, I've wrapped around my other <laughs> bloody rod. <laughs> Thankfully, there's no ropes on this. Oh, oh, heck. Oh, 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 anyway. heck. Lucky there's no ropes, man. Oh, it's a kahawai. It's a nicey. Good cow. Oh, Still in your boot. <laughs> How am I going to boat my car away? How am I going to buoy my car away? Oh, he's not a bad one. There it is. Good size car. Nice yep. Nice size car one. Keep that one for later. There you go, mate. Good bell. There we go. Keep him as a livey. Right, we've just spotted a barge, and that means hopefully a working barge, harvesting barge. So we're going to get off these boys and get in amongst those boys. What do you reckon, Mickey? Yeah, sounds good. Alright, cool. I've had enough of this. <laughs> Lovely fish. Today we are in Thames for a bit of rock jump antics and muscle boy fishing. With the Milwaukee Challenge in consequence decided, we managed to track down a harvesting barge which was producing a quality birdie trail. Anyway, what we're doing here guys is we're, uh, we've got a working barge harvesting the mussels here behind us. And as they harvest the mussels, all the gunk they wash off the decks of the smashed up mussels, it's a massive burley trail which just keeps running out here. So these guys don't mind you fishing alongside them as long as you a bit of respect, a bit of courtesy and try not to cast your softy and hit them. And we're just, uh, at the moment, just casting soft baits into this uh, trail of gunk and hope we pick up a couple of snaps. Yep. Good fish. Ooh, we got a good one there, Mickey. Oh, we can slide our softies around and I've hooked up. A softies is sometimes a fairly good way of uh, attacking the snapper under these, uh, under these barges. But you can just bring a lead rig down or a bait as well, which is Scott, Scott's doing at the moment. So. Have you got a uh, snapper or a car white, Mick? Oh, we'll find out, that? I guess. That's a good fish. Oh, yeah, it's just a, like, not bad for the... Oh, he's a scrapper. Oh, need him, mate. 
Yeah, not, it's not huge, it's not huge. You just feel it frantic. Oh, nice net. Oh, Hit beautiful. Em. Yeah, pop in the net, mate. Look at that. Oh, nice That's a one. Cracker. Beauty. Nice one. That's a good eater. All right. There it is. I'll just pop them in the bin because they're going to keep a bit of a feed today. But that Ooh. is a lot easier than fishing off a muscle boy. Hey, Scott. What's that, mate? I can't hear you. There's noises. <laughs> That's all good. All right. In the bin. Again, he's got a string puller on. Ah, oh, nice fish too, by the feel. Lovely little fin off soft baiting set. I've got to keep us on the helm, mate. Eh? Keep us keep on the helm, mate. Yeah. I've got the drag quite tight because, as you can imagine, there's muscle ropes everywhere and um, lots for a fish, a good fish to rub you off on, especially when you getting into the kingies and that sort of stuff. You might be they'll, yourself off they'll wrap you around. It's not a huge fish. Yeah. All right. Here he comes, up through the... Oh, nice fish. Yeah. Mean. <laughs> Another quality snap through that. Beautiful. All right, just... She's all go, we've got boats around us and we're trying to keep clear of the muscle park guys and, <laughs> and then pulling in fish. Pulling in fish like that. Beautiful snapper, Mick. Can't complain about it at all. Nicely lip hooked. Who cares about this rain, eh? Lovely fish. Lovely fish and another beautiful penny. In the bin? In the bin. With the mussel barge calling it a day, and so too the resident fish, we pushed out into deeper water to target some of the biggest schooling snapper. Safety comes first here on Fishing and Adventure, and it was clear to see that Mig was in need of some extra sunscreen. <laughs> oh, <go away. laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, another good benchy. Bloody nice. And there are some good fish down there because I just got uh, pulled the hook on a big straight line rig, so. And when you're pulling fish just out of that, when you've only been there for less than half an hour, it's great. So I'll get this guy back in the drink. Mullet and fresh kawai. Old and the new. Dirty old mullet catches them, but the fresh bait don't rule out the fresh bait either. It's had a good run on a nice fresh bit of kawai before. One of those kawai we could have caught earlier at the boys. Just rigging this up nice and simple. Because they're hitting it quite hard, I was going to sit that there like that. I've got a couple of little cuts at the bottom of that just to, that was waving around on the current a bit. Hook through the top, little ball sinker on top to get it down. That's just going to float down there, and hopefully the, old, the big tarmody is going to come and grab it and should be all on. All right, hooked a good fish here. The uh, big straight line kawai bait. A fillet of kawai at the back, and it's just been picked up by something with a bit of weight. I'm hoping it's not a shark. It's gonna swim me back towards the boat a little bit, but still could be a big snapper. You never know. You never know. That's a good thing about saltwater fishing. Definitely net worthy. Oh, beautiful. Hey, All right. nice fish. The mean fish. It's done, mate. It's done. Good condition fish. Um, and there's what's left of my car one. I'll probably use that piece of bait again. Oh, yeah. Might have just convinced me to stray over to a stray line. You're going to go over to a stray line, Mick? <laughs> you got rocking the ledger rig. You've been catching a few more fish. I haven't caught a fish here yet, but sometimes if you persevere with a stray line, it can, can produce the bigger fish. So I think you'll find Mick will be stray lining in a minute. I'll give it a jam.
With stray lining, it's a pretty simple technique. You know, it's, some of you might be used to just fishing your conventional ledger rigs like Mick's doing with your reeling gear, winding up a fish. Stray lining's a good fun thing to try. Basically, we're letting the reel sit in free spool. So this is an overhead reel, lever drag, it's down there in free spool. And I'm just letting that out, and as I'm letting it out, it's sinking slowly to the bottom. And a fish will pick that up, a bigger snapper pick it up, and they swim away with it. The reason you have it in free spool is because it allows the fish to swim away with it without feeling any resistance. As if a big snapper feels resistance, it'll know something's up and it could spit it out. So it picks it up, it swims away, and then you feel that. And what we're doing is we're feeling it run, it's running. We're giving it a couple of seconds or, or three or four seconds, depending on what sort of bait we're using. Uh, if it's a soft bait, you don't want to give it too long, but if it's a hard bait like this car wire here, we'll give that a little bit longer for the chance for the fish to swallow it. And then it's a case of just putting the reel into gear, taking up the slack with the, with the mono, and setting the hook. It's very simple. Uh, it's a good, fun way of fishing, and yeah, it's, it's uh, obviously you need current, you need a bit of that sort of stuff, but it's uh, a really fun way of fishing if, you, if you're used to just doing the conventional ledger rig, so give it a go. It's the way. Get more that break, Mick. We are fishing the Muscle Boys in the Firth of Thames for snapper. After a couple of nice fish from around the working barge, we then headed into deeper water where the stray line technique has produced some better snaps. We've got a string puller on here. The old soft baited anchor technique. Never be afraid to throw at a softy, even if you are anchored, because the bite died off a bit, the baits weren't getting hit very hard, so I thought I'd just chuck a softy down with the lure to try and entice a bite. And what feels like a very big snap has picked it up. And I've got the bloody muscle rope stuff. Oh, here it is on the on the braid, all the stuff from when we were fishing in the Muscle Boys earlier, all over the braid. It's a little bit nervous, nerve wracking, but. Haven't even got this fish up off the bottom yet. Do you think snaps? Yeah, man, feeling a bit like a snaps at the moment. Cool. That's the way. A lot of weight there. And what? Uh, Maggie, can you bring in that ledger rig? Uh, yeah, I'm just bringing the anchor as well. Oh, the burly, you mean? No, oh, burly. Yeah, yeah, because he's around that way, so. Yes. It's a very good fish. Oh, am I around the burly, Meg? I might be around the burly. Oh, you're around me, Slow I down, think. slow down. Get that ledger again. Get that ledger again I first. Think. And I'll come around there. Oh, you're on me too. I'm on you. Oh, shit. That's not ideal. See, is it coming up now? Nah. Yeah. It is? Yeah. Oh, that's a burly too. Oh, ah, shit. It's all right. Still got a fish. How is it? How is it? Oh, oh shit. We're going to pull it up by hand or what? It's a big fish. Yeah, I think might be might. a shark or something. Still could be a snap, so. Is it heavy? Yep. Don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh. Go, go, go. Yeah. Cut your, cut your ledger rig. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. But it's still... Oh, quick, quick, quick. Oh, shit. Use the scissors, use the scissors. Just try and get the tension on that braid. Oh, Christ, I got water down my boonies. Far out. Careful on that braid, Mick. Yeah, this is the way from that braid. Well, if we cut this rope and rejoin the rope, too. Yep. If you hold it nice and tight. Because if this is a snap, I don't want to lose it. Oh, yep, good. Oh, we're back. Woohoo! Good, good save, Mick. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> uh, you pull, pull the burly up. <laughs> pull the tight one. <laughs> yeah, pull the tight one. Leave the, Bloody leave hell. the slack on there, mate. Oh, she's all go. That's what we love. God knows what that is. Hopefully it's a snaps. Oh, hopefully, man. After all that. Oh, well, it's only what? One, one ledger down and one bloody... What do you oh. call it? One, oh. uh... One joining the anchor up. Yeah, it might be a kingy, it might be a kingy, which is obviously another thing you get on a very common bycatch when targeting snapper on soft baits is a kingfish. Because they are suckers for lures. Oh, 
Hey, uh, this rod, move this. Yeah. Come back this way. Mick, you want to wind on your rest of your line? Ah, uh, yep. Oh, here it is. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> He's hooked in the eyeball. Net. Jeez, I'm trying to stangle up in something. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Get him in the net. Come here, mate. Get him in the net, Biggie. Come here, mate. Get him in the net. Nice one, boy. Oh, right. <laughs> we nearly lost that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Oh, right. Chuck it nice. there, man. That was, a, that was an effort and a half, <laughs> that, that was one. good effort, mate. Team effort. Jesus. <laughs> Cameraman was involved. <laughs> Liggy was cutting burly ropes and whatnot. Oh, and it's a decent snap. I mean, it's not even... It's not a monster, but... I mean, look where I hooked him. Look at and that. No, in the eyeball. Man, and lucky. it was... That's why he put up a real solid sideways fight. And that's not far from coming out. Just put that hook out, Mick. I'm pretty sure that's just about to fall out. Look at that. Holy <laughs> <sh> <laughs> Yeah, oh, so that, there's an example of how to don't crank your drag up when you've got a fish like that, just let it, but, but also don't let it off too light because that could just easily come up. Tension on the line the whole time. We somehow managed to do that. Yeah. We somehow managed nice. to keep that tension on the line with the tangled around the burly pot. And... So you have it. A soft baited snapper on anchor, coming up slack tide. You know, never be afraid to give something new a crack. Bung a softy out, stray line, ledger rig, anything. Just. Well, that's probably enough for us. What do you think, Mick? Yeah. We had a good day in the boys this morning. Yeah, it's not too bad, eh? Caught a couple of snappers <laughs> off the muscle, boys. That was a hard case. Yeah, got some uh, nice snaps in around the barge and then uh, came out here in the middle and managed to grab a few nice snapper, including this nice guy. Yeah. I'm pretty wrapped with that. Yeah, it's been awesome, eh? Um, we've probably got to head on back, but, uh, yeah. Good day in the first. Yeah, now, here is your chance to win our awesome weekly prize pack brought to you by Radio Haraki, and this week's prize pack is two Logitech UE Mini Boom water resistant speakers, a Milwaukee heated hoodie, a pair of Dirty Dog polarized sunglasses, a Finor and Jarvis Walker tackle pack, and a 12 month subscription to NZ Bay Fishing Magazine. For your chance to win, remember this code word, head over and like our Facebook page for a second code, then tune into Haraki Breakfast Monday mornings for your cue to call. We proudly use Finor tackle, Surtees boats, Honda outboards, and Garmin Electronics.